Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry of Mowers and Blowers. Weather here in New York is just so unpredictable. Yesterday it was like 60 degrees. Today it's 25. Crazy, man. Uh, anyway, so uh, as you guys know, uh, I'm getting all my lawn tractors ready for sale. Uh, I've got too much in my backyard, so i got to sell some, you know. So I'm uh, done with that one and this one, and I'm going to go park these in the backyard. Uh, while they're in the backyard, I need to gas these up because in case somebody comes and looks at them, got to be able to start them up, right? So uh, this needs gas, that needs gas, and I've got a five-gallon tank here. And uh, since it's going to be sitting for a while, you don't know if you're going to sell them or not, I'm going to put some stable 360 in there. This is good for five gallons. Uh, I think there's only like four gallons in here, and I used... Uh, a little bit for a four gallon so I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in there this is supposed to uh, keep your gas somewhat fresh and uh, control the moisture absorption from the ethanol so that uh, the gas that sits in your gas tank is not going to gum up and ruin your carburetor ah, stabilizer ah. Ran out of gas. And that satellite was crazy, huh? It just fall out of the sky like that. It must have killed, man. I kind of burned up some of the marks here. And the paint. Well, you, you better believe that my insurance company and the government's going to find out about this. I'm going to call them.
Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Just a quick update on my Craftsman 524. As you know, this is uh, a dual shaft engine converted to a single shaft engine, right? And my problem was that it, the belt was too long and it was slipping too much. Well, I uh, got the shorter belt today and it works fantastic. My only other issue was that uh, when you put it into, well, it's flipped, so this is actually first gear, right? that it was um, not as fast, but then when you took it over here, it was super fast, you know what I mean? So basically, I bent this rod about an inch, so that now, when you put it all the way to one, supposedly, right, this thing doesn't stop midway, but it goes all the way to the right. So now the first gear is much faster, and thus, this is faster, and it's faster, and so there you have the gears. Now, if you were to pull this all the way to all the way over here, which you could do, reverse is very fast, you know? But now, first gear, there's a, there's a second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and right over here is where it starts to go to reverse. But reverse can go really fast. So what I might do is just block it off up to here, you know, with some kind of uh, sheet metal here and weld it. And relabel stickers there you know what I'm saying so that the person who gets it doesn't get to go any faster than what normal reverse is you know but then forward will be good so it was kind of tough to move around before but then I just used some lithium grease and sprayed it on the shaft there the white lithium grease so now it's very smooth of course you have to cover the friction disc over here so you don't get this fr friction disc um, slippery so I'm going to put the cover on and we'll give it a try. Another thing is, take one of these things, as you can see, years and years of rubber build up there and grime. Let me clean the disc a little bit. Not too crazy, just lightly just to get the debris off so that the this rubber wheel meets this very well. Gets good grippage. Grippage! This is a form of cleaning your shit. Hey guys, clean your shit. See that? That's, that looks nice. How about that, huh? That looks nice. Okay guys, check it out. some stickers on there. Fabricated a keeper. Now when you engage. Works perfectly, man. So I've taken the original sticker off cut it into pieces and repasted it into the right areas. So one through four, as you can see, is the right side, right? Uh, once you get to R2, that's the first reverse, and then the second click, and then I put a zip tie in the middle there, and whoever wants to buy it, I tell them, I said, you know what, I wouldn't recommend going past that speed because it'll roll over you. It's up to them if they want to try it, but that's what the zip tie is there for. 
I don't recommend you going past that thing, otherwise it reverses too fast. But uh, that bend in the handle there allows the first gear to be quite fast. So there you go, that's the conclusion of my uh, part 3 fix of my $50 Craftsman uh, 5 horsepower Tecumseh engine Snow King 24 wide dual stage snowblower with an engine swap from double shaft to single shaft. We had to um, adapt the um, tension pulley over there um, and also had to get a shorter belt. Uh, that shorter belt did the trick. It, it works great, you know, no slippage on the... Uh, on the pulleys. Uh, we did give it a... No, we didn't give it a carp clean because that's a new en uh, the other engine that I had. It works great. You know what, man? I'd buy it. Like I said, 50 bucks and it works as it should without me reverse engineering the transmission or taking the camshaft shaft out and replacing it to this one. It works good. Anyway, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, support my channel. Buy a sticker. Got the bumper sticker too. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Follow my Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Check